We're doing another giveaway, as the last one was very successful. We're doing another Xbox Live Gold giveaway for 12 months. All you have to do is subscribe and comment on the video. This one we're going to do until the end of April. So if you enjoy the content, sub and leave a comment and you can give. There's a chance you're going to win the giveaway. I always post the winner on Twitter. Bye. So my first job after Burger King Foot Lettuce. Okay, my first job actually was umpiring Little League games for like $20 an hour. And they took about three hours, so I was essentially getting paid under minimum wage as a 15 year old slave but when i turned 16 i had my first big boy car a like 2008 subaru and i was told all right champ time to go put gas in it so i had to go find a job burger king was hiring and it was like two dollars over minimum wage at the time so you know who am i to say no and it was actually my first food service job which turned out to be my my career going back even years later i can, the smell of burger king just it's the same. It smells of onions, and it smells of dirty grease right behind the corner. You know, I'm certified in kitchen cleanliness as part of my career. And let me tell you what. If I went back there right now, I'd be like the health inspector from SpongeBob, which Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob low-key slid on and killed. That'd be me right now, because I'd be snitching to God for the sense that that place did when I was there. Uh, out of the four managers there, there were three assistant managers and one actual manager. There was one tiny Mexican lady who was an assistant manager. She was very nice to all the girls, and she was like mid to the boys. Call her Lita because we're going to have a story later that involves her. There was this big fat old bitch who I hated. She was a bitch to me, and a lot of the younger people too. And she would just kind of like poke at you and say like insulting things. And no one really did anything about it. And, you know, I was kind of a pussy back then. I didn't say anything to her. Like, you know, if I was there right now, I'd turn her face into a cherry gusher because... Trust me, her and her Parkinson's couldn't keep up. There was also an older guy who was another assistant manager. A lot of the girls didn't really like him. They thought he was creepy, but I didn't have an issue with him. His face always got red during service, though, because he would always stress. Now, the actual manager was cool. I kind of liked her every time I saw her, but I didn't see her much because I always worked the weekends. She had the weekends off. Most of the coworkers were chill. I didn't have any issues with really any of them. The only reason I say some coworkers is because there's one guy that we'll talk about in a little bit who has like an interesting little story. Now, you know, we'll call this dude right now. So basically, we're going to call this dude Jeffrey. And we're going to call the other girl in the story, his wife. We'll call her Jennifer. So to start off the story, basically, Jeffrey got Jennifer pregnant. And Jeffrey kicked their little boy in the tummy and went to jail after she called the cops on him. This all happened before I worked there, and I know this because one of the, the employees told me about it. And so when I got there, he was back from jail there, working that bur working at that Burger King with her as a probation job, and they were back together when I got there. So I didn't know about this till later, but eventually I found out and that was interesting. They would always like hold hands and like be cute and like, kiss and make out in the fucking burger lines and it was just so weird that nobody like i felt like the manager were afraid that he'd like kill them because he he was i'll give it to him he, he was bulk but you know i mean he couldn't take me personally sexually and physically he would always come up to me when i was working either the register or, like the burger line and he would tell me like about his time in prison and he would tell me like these tricks of how to do coke properly not necessarily the tutorial a 16 year old needed I was more looking forward to like you know how to do how to build faster on Fortnite, but shit whatever works for me I guess. One day I came in and the police were there like four like detectives, and they interviewed me asking me like if I knew where Jeffrey was, and I was like, uh no I don't know where Jeffrey is, basically because he didn't show up to work and so that means he skip he was skipping probation. But then he was back there like the next weekend, so he, it must have been a misunderstanding, which might have been the whole case for him because, you know, such a nice guy like him could have never kicked a kid in the stomach. I'm going to stop. He's a Cowboys fan, so it makes a lot of sense, actually. A big thing there was the cocaine. Yes, there's cocaine at Burger King because our fire guy, who we'll call Alex, liked to sell cocaine to all the employees and some of the customers, too, outside. And I never actually saw the customer part, so that's allegedly, but I definitely, definitely, 100% saw him selling it to employees, and he even asked me if I wanted any. Now, I didn't partake. I used my money for more important things like Fortnite and Liquid Diviniums. But definitely, when I was out there having lunch breaks with some of the employees, they would tell me about how good his cocaine was. So good for him on getting on the grind. I'll tell him one, like, actual, like, disgusting story, I guess. I don't know... I was too, I'm not going to do customers this video, maybe I'll do a different video on customers. One Saturday I was on the register with uh, Mexican manager Lita, and there was 
this one lone chat eating a Whopper or something. It was like 10 a.m. And like I, I'm just like scanning the room and I see like this black puddle on the floor. I don't know if it's like oil. If this, I don't know if this is a robot. And I went to investigate because front register is responsible for the dining room being cleanly is for the dining room being clean and neat. So if you don't know that, uh, at least at Burger King when I worked there, the register front register was responsible for the keeping the dining room clean. So I ran out there with like a mop and a bucket and all that shit. And like I started walking over there, and then like this ball dropped right in front of me from the ceiling, making the puddle like like way bigger. And like the puddle is black, so I'm wondering like what is this? But like when I walked up there, like I I saw it wasn't like liquid or anything. It was an entire group of ants all bunched up together to look like one. And I could tell because they weren't dead. They were they were moving. They were they're itching and moving, and like looking up. It looked like they they must have been up in the the ceiling and they had finally cracked through. And I turned around and and walked up to Lita and I said, Hey Lita, those are all ants over there. I'm not touching it because whatever twelve dollars an hour was not enough is not enough for me to do this and you know clearly the money you're not using for to give me a raise you're not paying enough for the exterminators either so she went over and she took a picture uh to send to the other managers i'm assuming and she like sweeped them into a bucket and like then just threw them out into the garbage which ironically they're just gonna come back because you have to kill them to actually like exterminate that issue you can't just like just put them back outside they're just gonna crawl back but you know I, i'm getting i'm whatever 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 but that's it yeah i didn't talk about customers too much sorry for lack of videos but life's been real busy i will get back to uploading soon peace and love guys